What's up, people of YouTube? Lunar Spar 1127 bringing you Naruto chapter 566, Eyes and Beasts. So, the chapter starts off with the Hachibi wrapping his tentacle around, spinning around like he's some sort of Tasmanian devil, creating some sort of new technique, which I gotta say looks pretty cool. It's, they call it the Eight Tails Whirlwind, or Bijou Hachimaki. Yeah, there's like a huge tunneling whirlwind destroying the forest, knocking down the Jinchurikis, also Naruto's having a hard time holding on, which I'm actually kind of glad that Kyorubi's not using the the Bijou Dama, or the the Tail Beast Bomb. It's been used a lot recently. But anyway, cutting back to HQ, HQ's um, checking on the status of the squads, and of course of course, they noticed that uh, Kyobi turned into his tailed beast form. They want to send backup, but they can't send the Kages because the Kages are fighting the current, the current Madara right now. So, so they elaborated that Squad One, Squad Two, so far have defeated. They're close to finishing off their Edo Tensei zombies. Squad Three has like one more Edo Tensei. Which, by the way, Squad 3 is, um, the squad Kakashi, Guy, Lee, and Sai are in. They're fighting against the Seven Swordsmen. Yeah. They're down to one Swordsman left. So much for Kakashi's Rampage, huh? I mean, we only got a brief glimpse of it, and there they finished off, like, half of the Seven Swordsmen. And now, only one is left. That's just great. Also, Squad 5, um... They're almost done, so... You know what, instead of telling... Instead of, like, having someone telling us, like, what's going on with the other squads, can we get, like, I don't know, like, a brief panel of them fighting the enemy or something? It would have been cool just to see what is going on instead of being told what is going on. So much for those battles, huh? Well, anyway, Shikaku... Order is everyone that when squads 1, 2, 3, and 5 are finished, they have to send them to back up Naruto and B against Madara, sorry, Tobi and the other Jinchuriki. Meanwhile, back at the forest, or what's left of the forest, that's a huge crater right there. Really huge. So, yeah, the Jinchuriki have been knocked back. B Naruto asked. Asks uh, Hachibi if he knows any stealing techniques. You'd think that when Naruto is training with Jiraiya, Kirby Sage, he'd learn at least, I don't know, maybe like a s one stealing technique or something. They would come in handy. But. But the Hachibi uses a. Actually, does have a stealing technique. Um, it's called Seal Technique Octopus Hold, where he spits out um, ink which turns into killer bee clones. So yeah, so they're ink clones which grab onto the the Jinchiriki. Really weird position right there, but whatever. So yeah, this technique apparently in 3 seconds the ink will completely cover the Jinchiriki and will f freeze them. And once they're frozen that they'll pull out the chakra rods on their chest. So they're literally counting down three seconds. They're like, one, two, three. Oh no, it failed. Yeah. I, that actually would have been a lot better. Would have been better if they didn't seal them off. Because that would totally be weird. But... Yeah, they, they destroyed the ink clones, and the Jinchurikis are now in their tail beast level 2 forms, which look pretty cool, but I guess it's kind of hard to tell. You can actually see how what they look like, which looks pretty cool. And Naruto, being the sort of dumbass he kind of is, he thought that they were all sealed. But Chibi tells them, no, they just powered up all at once. And Naruto's like, the masked guy, he was hiding underground. Okay, Naruto, seriously, what the hell? He just realized that Madara was, I'm sorry, damn it, I keep calling him Madara. Toby was hiding underground. 
and he thought that the Jinchuriki were sealed, which obviously not. Does this look like they're sealed? They're in their tail beast level 2 forms, obviously their bodies are not sealed. And also, Naruto is able to sense darkness, evil, malice, and yet he couldn't sense Madara, so, ugh, fucking Toby. He couldn't sense Toby coming out from underground. I mean, can he sense enemies underground, or or maybe he wasn't within his range? But and besides, we we had like a panel of Madara's Toby's fingers popping up under coming up from the ground. So why couldn't Naruto notice this? Why couldn't he? Whatever. Anyway. So now that the Jinchurikas are in their level 2 states, they're, uh, they attack the Haichibi and Naruto with these attacks that remind me of Pokemon for some reason. I mean, you got Bug Bite, M Mushikui, that was from Fu, Cat Claw, Leech Gap, they're all at Leech Gap with, um, and Coral Fist. So yeah. So first the uh, first Fu and Yugito attack Naruto. Uh Uka Utakata attacks the Haichibi and melts his hand. Yagura attacks Naruto, punching him and I guess forming coral on his back, at least that's what is going on. And I think um I'm not really sure whose technique it is. I think this is Han's technique, but he used something called Flower Fruit Mountain. I don't know what it exactly this does. But uh Haichibi actually tells Naruto that they should retreat and but and this has been confirmed. Han turns into the five tails. The Gobi. So yeah, they can turn into their tail beast forms, which I think would be pretty cool seeing all the tail beasts fighting against Haichibi and Naruto. That would be actually pretty awesome. But since um so yeah, the Go Han turns into the Gobi, uh Shanks him with his horns on his arm, knocks him back. Madara, fucking hell! I keep calling him Madara. It's Toby, Toby, Toby. I'm still not used to that. I don't know why. But anyway, uh, Toby. Toby pins Naruto down. He's like, looks like six versus two is still out of your league. One touch. Once I touch you with this hand, I win. Naruto's like, no! So, yeah, Naruto and Killer B were, are screwed now! It looks like Madara was about to capture capture Naruto, but right at the last minute, which I think this was freaking awesome, Kakashi and Guy come out of nowhere and attack Madara. Tobi. Making, trying, ha making him go through uh, make him uh, transparent, make him use his see-through technique. Guy actually uses this technique called Super Konon and Adamantine Cycle. Kind of like, I guess it's a some sort of advanced Konoha Leaf Whirlwind technique or something. <laughs> There's also this panel of Ma of Toby, uh, Toby's hand going through <laughs> Naruto's head, which um, I know this is kind of weird, but is it possible that M that Toby can touch other people's um, internal organs when he goes through their bodies? I mean, imagine that Naruto uh, Naruto is actually feeling Toby touching his brain. <laughs> that would actually be pretty funny. <laughs> So anyway, um, Toby backs off, backs off saying, used Naruto's bait and waited for the moment when I materialized to touch him. What a nuisance. And this page right here looks pretty awesome. Don't forget, we have a shine gun between us two and the noble green beasts of Konoha. The masters arrive, and that's the end of cha Naruto chapter 566. I really like this chapter. This chapter w was another good one. Seeing Naruto and, and Killer B struggling against uh, the 6th Jinchuriki, I 
I'm kind of glad because um, lately, ever since Naruto entered the battlefield, I mean, I admit, I admit he did have some problems fighting against some of the Edo Tensei zombies, but he managed to win somehow. I mean, he, a freaking clone, beat the freaking Raikage, the previous Raikage, and he's supposed to be like one of the strongest ninjas ever. He managed to survive against Nagato, but without, but if it wasn't for Itachi, he would have been screwed anyway. And that's that's pretty much it, actually. Also, I really like the final page: Kikashi and Guy facing off against Madara, uh, Toby. Damn it! That actually looks pretty awesome, and. From the looks of it, Guy, I think Guy has opened a, like an, a chakra gate or two because his aura, I think his sweat evaporated, his evaporated sweat is surrounding him. So, but he hasn't opened like three or four gates yet. So I really like this chapter. Um, fights, the fight was pretty good. I'm kind of a bit annoyed with Naruto being kind of a bit, a bit stupid from a while back, but seeing him nearly getting his ass kicked was actually kind of a good thing, because knowing that he, even with his Super Saiyan QB Fox mode, he cannot, he's not that strong yet. Anyway, um, so what will happen next? Who knows? Uh, Kikashi and Guy might fight against the Jinchuriki, or they probably have to deal with Toby first. Toby is still a bit of a threat, and who knows, maybe... I guess when the rest of the squads are done fighting against the remaining seven swordsmen, I guess the rest will come back and come in to help them. I still... This would be pretty awesome. Also, a lot of people are saying that either Guy or Kakashi might die. I don't think Kakashi's gonna die because he died once and seeing him die again would that would be pretty pointless. Guy, there is a slight chance that he might die. I mean, he opened seven gates to fight against the real um, Kisame and uh, against Madara and six Jinchuriki Edo Tensei zombies. He who knows? He might actually open eight and he could die during the process. So I, so for this chapter, I'm gonna give it a. I'll give it another eight out of ten. Fight the fight was pretty good. Last page, mate, was totally worth it. Story so far hasn't progressed yet, but who knows? Who knows what might happen? Actually, can't wait to see it. And I'm hoping um the other squads will make it there just to see some other characters fight too, because that would be pretty awesome. So yeah, eight out of ten. That's Naruto chapter 566. I'm Lunaspire1127, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!